Hello, everybody. This is Kyle out, of course, for Draft Radio. A huge thank you, of course, to 16 Red Ninja, who taught me that there's actually a function full screen key on my computer because I can play Magic, but I can't do computers. Uh, joining me, of course, for this recording is Alex Grafasi. You may know him as Lloyd Master from some of our earlier <laughs> recordings. Uh, John Von Spreckelson, <laughs> who's making strange calling noises. Um, you may also know him as Falcon Monkey and our lovely friend, Molly Heistand. Hey. Molly, say hello to everybody. Hi. Wait, since when are you Falcon Monkey? What's that? Yeah, because well, <laughs> the problem here is that, see, I have two names that I've been using interchangeably. One is much older from like eighth grade, which is Falcon Monkey 56, which is the one I'm stuck using. Is that the one your now. mother gave you? <laughs> no, your mother gave it to me. John's birth certificate just says Falcon Monkey 86. No, but, but uh, <laughs> Forge Blade or Forge Blaford is the one that I would prefer to All use. Right. All right, well then, Forge Blade, Falcon, Falcon Forge Blade. Uh, Falcon Blade. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, something that I thought would be kind of cool is, as you know, we've tried doing some Cracker Pack stuff, and I decided I would bring some of my local magic talent with me, and we would all go over how we would approach a pack in cons of Tarkir. So what we're doing, we're doing three. That's right. For the price of one free video, you get us to do three Cracker Packs. So this is the first of our three packs, and I'm not going to lie, guys. This is kind of lackluster. Is get that wrecked. Gosh darn. This, this pack. Yeah, this is our pack. All right, so what you do from this pack is you go, I want the money, and you pick the regular forest, because flooded strands, <laughs> who, who wants that? Crack, crack lands, those things aren't worth anything in standard, man. No way. <laughs> you so, take that forest. Uh, obvious, jo forest. <laughs> obvious joking aside, if you are in a physical person draft, please, by all means, take the $20 land. However, let's assume that this is a Pro Tour draft. You are drafting to win. Alex, what are you looking at right now? What are you thinking? <laughs> the charm thing looks good. Just guy charm. You could do a solid four damage to anything. Though just to your opponent though. Well. It's your... still a solid four damage. <laughs> it's still a solid four damage. I mean, your opponent's kind of like an anything. It's a solid four damage to what the biggest creature is a four or five. No, it's your opponent. So... It's your, your opponent, Alex. <laughs> only, only I you... understand that. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I would maybe what's swift kick? Let's see this. Sword kick, class one, bonus on the trend. Control, fight check. Oh, um, I don't know. I might take the swift kick. There's a bird. There's a bird. Um, <coughs> so I think the three things that I'm looking at immediately in this the pack charm are decent. The charm is good. Um, well, even though it does not hit creatures <laughs> at all. You get lifelink. Too. It does put them on top of your library, and yeah, you do get lifelink. Close. Well, you yeah. only get to choose one, so it can be a versatile card. <clears throat> yeah, incredibly flexible. There's also a set of drift, which is nice, but the whole sorcery uh, thing just kind of makes me go want want. It's an wait. It's a sorcery. Set of drift is a sorcery. Can you see the screen? Okay. Oh, I, I thought you. Never mind. No, I honestly. Um, but uh, I, I think the card I'm looking at is Soul Tie Suits. There. Um, a incredible card holds off most of the stuff in this set. Which one is that one? Uh, the second one, Soul Tie Suits. There, the big oh. snake. <laughs> Bless you. Um, is that a snake or a laugh? Cool. Yeah. Molly can't. Yeah. Molly can't take the pressure of recording. Clearly. Uh, <laughs> I honestly, I want to take that swift kick because yeah. Swift kick. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's like the worst card in this pack. Dude, you see, you take. This. Other than the basic land. It's actually the worst card in this pack. How is it bad? Because it, oh, it's only plus one, plus oh. It's four mana, and there's no guarantee your creature will survive the fight afterwards. Dude, all you do is win, no matter what. <laughs> all I do is win, win, win. Oh, gosh. No um, so my pick from the pack is Soul Tie Suits there. Uh, fantastic five drop. Allows you to dig for, through your library to get key cards that you may need. Uh, sets you up for some awesome delve. Uh, blocks most stuff profitably. It's exactly what you're looking for in a control deck. I normally don't like taking uh, three color cards. I especially don't like taking three color cards as a first pick. But Soul Tie Suits, I think, is is good enough to do it. So, John, Swift Kick for you? I, I, I would do Swift Kick, but the logic behind this would be I'm going to build my deck around to the attempts of making it relevant. So, like, super aggro? Yeah. Okay. That, that's the game plan. So, John takes the Swift Kick in the swift hopes of forcing super aggro. Though. That's John's curve topper, I guess. <laughs> that is my curve topper, and you think that's a joke. He gets the horse, dude, out, where it does two damage every turn, and then the kick. <laughs> Yay! So Valley Dasher into Swift Kick is, yeah. the, is the game plan there. Happy feet. <laughs> Wombo, Wombo combo. combo. It's got hooves. It's a horse. 
Alex, what's your what's your pick from the pack? I say the soothsayer, to be completely honest. Yeah. Or or the charm. I mean, Glacial depending Skyler. on how many creatures you have out, the lifelink thing is pretty good. And it is instant speed too, so I mean you could do some pretty cool things with that. Yeah. And then say you pick it and you're about to lose, and they happen to have <clears throat> four life left. Hey. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it is incredibly versatile. I th- I think you're, I think you're right. I think we honestly you could feel very confident going with either Soltai Soothsayer or Jeskai Charm. Or again, if this is a real paper draft and you're not playing for uh, you know the Pro Tour, by all means, please please take Flooded Strand. Glacial Stalker, you know, and, and more... Profit. I mean, Glacial Stalker is great, too. But <laughs> All right, so now we're going into our two. second pack. Ooh, this is a lot better. I'll take Icy Blast. Please, thank you. <laughs> this is I a... don't want to see the rest of the pack. <laughs> Screw it. I'll take Icy Blast, and I'm happy for the rest of the game. The disowned dude is so cool. He's so good. Uh, I mean, this pack is really, yeah, this pack is really good. Um... I mean, there's an oh, ice. Oh, icy blast is sick though. <laughs> Alex is like John spouting all <laughs> nonsense. Alex just completely ignored the. Oh, there's an icy blast in the pack. I didn't know. I I don't know. No, I I pick I'm icy blast. This and the, the, there's dude, literally no time. question to me what yeah. I should pick. It's icy blast. I, end of discussion. Yeah, I think I I can agree with the two of you there. Uh, icy blast is incredible. I mean, even without ferocious, icy blast is incredible. You're like, oh, it's my turn, and you have X amount of life. It's just enough for me to kill you, but you have all these pesky blockers. Well, you don't anymore. Or, or even better, hey, at your end step. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> or, <laughs> nope. Or, hey, I'm about to die, but I've got an icy blast now. Let me tap down your guys. And if you have that four power, I mean, my God, it's just even better. It goes sick with the woolly dude. Yeah, it goes really well with woolly lock. It goes well with everything in this set, in all honesty. There's, like, very few decks where murder or icy blast isn't actually worth running. Okay, so let's let's do our own little thought exercise though. Assume icy blast is that flooded strand from pack one that we did. Flooded strand. And and we're in the pro tour, so not, and we're not taking the flooded strand here. What do you take out of the pack? Assuming icy blast is gone. Like, what are your thoughts? Because this is a I think this is a pretty deep. Well, pack. our first pick was the soothsayer, right? And what do you do? Again? Well, no, this is or this is a whole new pack. Whole, whole new. new this pack. is whole new draft. Pack whole one, draft, pick one. Pack I like the pick. unyielding dude at the at the. The black. Unyielding Krumar as yeah. your first pick? Yeah, I'm, I'm either taking like Disavowed that. Ancestor first pick, or I'm taking dude. Water Whirl, because okay. return two creatures to their owner's hands at instant speed is also going to help, similar to how the non-existent Icy Blast is going to help. But wait, is that, is that like... It's six mana. Yeah, six, that's what I was going to say. Six mana, you know. two creatures, that's still big enough. It's definitely a blowout. Um, I think you guys are both missing the uh, the murderous cut. However, see uh, that's the thing. You'd have to have so many creatures dead already. Well, it's a five drop already, which is kind of low enough. Just yeah. To destroy a creature. Well, either that, or yeah. later. I don't know. I I see this singing bell drake, and it's like as it is. What it comes down to, it's it is, not a bad late pick. It's not a bad twenty third yeah, playable singing, either. Singing bell strike actually has shot up a lot. Uh, and how much people have played it. I saw this thing played a ton at the Pro Tour. Yeah, um, it, it's the draft two mana, watched. and it shuts down anything yeah. that's going to kill you. It's early, very which good. Is awesome. Um, well, you could put it down in turn two also, and then they can't do anything until, like, yeah, so turn six. To, yeah. And, and if they have, like, a disavowed ancestor, it's definitely it down, It's definitely not as good as Murderous Cut, though. I don't think it's... I don't think anything in this pack is as good as Murderous Cut. I mean, I, I know it's five mana, but, like... I don't think I've ever played a game of Magic where stuff didn't die, even if I'm not yeah. playing a dedicated Delve deck. Swamp. I mean, yeah, I think <laughs> there's also a Bring Low that I think you can use for consideration. You know, if if you're inclined, like if you have a bias towards Red and you just feel confident drafting like Teamer uh, or Jeskai, and you just want to stay as far yeah, away from you Black. Yeah, be like me, draft three Bring Lows. Yeah, you can grab Bring Lows. Uh, I drafted three of those. I didn't get to play any of them. <laughs> Oh, All right. Well, thanks, that, Magic. That, that, that doesn't stop Bringwell from being a great card. What's, <laughs> I'm curious, though, Alex. What's your reasoning for taking Krumar? What? What's your uh, reasoning for taking the format of 3-3? I don't know. I just like him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just like the picture. <laughs> so, so player bias. He's Well, he's got first strike. It's mean, because he's an orc warrior. Awesome. <laughs> it's Krumar's ghoul. No, no, no. Don't, don't be awesome. girly on me. You'll like, be like, oh, I like the picture. I'll take that one. I got it. I like the <laughs> That's how I draft, <laughs> though. All the dragons. Cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's how I so I mean, I, I mean <laughs> roommate mix cards. we talk we talk about this sometimes on the stream. Uh, we talk something about player bias where you know just because a card is quote unquote better doesn't mean that the per, the people at the same table as you are going to value it as such. Um, so for example, Alex values unyielding Krumar a bunch. 
I I, I, te- I tend to disagree. I don't I don't even think it's the best black card in the pack. Well, in all honesty, it's not. I mean, no, you've got a dissonant like ancestor. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm not going to take good, Waterworld, he's, I mean, oh, he is good. He's oh, he is good. Pick, it's not. Yeah. probably the best. Yeah, if I'm not taking Waterworld, though, I would take this about ancestor. Those are the two cards that I would take. Dissonant ancestor is just ridiculous. Because you get a one zero for it defender. without defender. Wait, so I'm I'm curious. Do you take? Would you take disowned ancestor over murderous cut then? I would honestly, honestly, yeah. And and the logic behind that is because if you're not valuing that water world, then I'll have no. I have no problem running blue black and having the bounce spells. You'll you'll get the kill spell on one of my later creatures. Yeah, but I'm still gonna have other stuff as well as well as I would plan on going. But control. but how does but no like but like how does disowned ancestor? But that's not the question I asked. The question was like why would you take disowned ancestor over murderous cut? Because I like disowned ancestor. It's an early start. It lets you stay. That if I go, right. that's what I'm saying. If I go slower, I have a zero four on the field. On top of if you have a bad draw, I can pump it up a little bit too to attempt to do some damage. Yeah, I mean, there's no question Disowned Ancestor does work. Okay, so everyone is in agreement. Icy Blast is definitely the first pick in this pack. Uh, but after that, I chose Murderous Cut. Uh, John, what's your what's your pick if it's not Icy Blast? It's not Icy. I just think it's between Disowned Ancestor or Water Whirl. And you got to pick one. I'm, I'm sticking. I'm sticking with Disowned Ancestor then. Okay, Disowned Ancestor and Alex. I'd probably go with the Ancestor, too. Ancestor as well. All right, so you guys value the aggression. I, can, I don't know. I know. It, it's fine. I mean, I, Disowned Ancestor did a lot of work. I, I, I it, also think Outlast is really good. Yeah. It's a really good thing. And then, like, later on, it could be really cool with the, um, what is it? With the potential. other mechanic. Things with plus one, plus one. Yeah, plus That's one, not plus mechanic. one. It's, not, it's, it's Outlast, just yeah. It's just Outlast. Oh. But if you, so you're hoping you can get stuff like um, Mirak Nightblade and... Uh, Abzan Falconer, the stuff uh, that gives the people like, that are like plus one plus one counters. Well, that's bad for you. Like that. well, it I mean, hurts you more, but you're hoping to get like stuff, stuff that gives like plus one plus one yeah. counters abilities. Yeah, yeah. the okay. other one thing I would that's look forward to would be the, like the green spells that are like give counters and then untap <laughs> creatures. So when you, even when you're outlasting, you can just untap. Them. Oh, Dragon Skill Boon. That's yeah, one stuff like that. Yeah. So you're choosing to take Disown Ancestor on the the chance to force Abzan. Yeah. Okay. I mean, even then, Murderous Cut's still good. Yeah. That, that would be second pick. I was going to say, I, I honestly think Murderous Cut's probably the second best card in the pack. But, I mean, I, I definitely, I see the reasoning for Disowned Ancestor. Certainly, I see the reasoning for Disowned Ancestor a lot more than I see uh, Unyielding Crew Mart be, being a first pick. Dude, <laughs> I can give him first strike, and I'm not I'm even in no, second No, no, I, no, don't get me wrong. I love Unyielding Crew Mart. The guy's, the guy's actually done a ton of work for me. He's awesome. All right. Please. And now we are coming to the third and final Pick of the draft. Wait, I thought we did three. No, we, that's our, that was only our second one. I thought we did three. No, I that's... thought I did. You shut up. <laughs> we, this is Ouch. the this is the last this is the last pack. Oh, really well, really well, this one was stupid. Okay, no, nope. it has the crew bar. We're not taking that. Night wheels. First pick. Um, All right, so I I think more. I know which ones I think I know which ones I think I'm t- thinking. Do you guys, do you guys want some more time to look at it? Because I can go over my my top three picks. Uh, let me see what's going really four. quick. Can you scroll down? Yeah, of course. I don't know. Oh, uh, probably I'm probably going to take either Throttle or I'm going to take the, uh, what's it called? The 5-5 five, five, uh, Pine Walker. Yeah. This, or, or Despite. Like, I was thinking about Despise or whatever that is because I can't read. Um, <laughs> and the reason behind that one is it'll give me the chance to see what people are doing and people in black. You're running black. People definitely take that, and they value it heavily. See, I, I, I mean, I disagree with Despise. I definitely think Throttle, Throttle's up for contention. Um, I think the four best cards in the pack are well, the black death touch thing is really cool too. Yeah, I, I was That's just about really to good. say uh, the four best cards in the pack, at least for me, uh, the way that I would approach this. Uh, Pine Walker, Pine Walker is insane. I mean, basically this guy just says, hey, you want all your morphs to get vigilance, essentially. Um, but it's better than that. Like it's it's better than that because you can just swing with a morph creature, and if you have Pine Walker flipped face up, uh, or just swinging with Pine Walker, and then like they go for the crack back, and then all of a sudden you tap five, flip up your five five, untap it, and eat their guy. It's such a huge blowout in terms of tempo, and being able to confer that ability onto every single one of your morph creatures just makes morph so much better. And morph's already morph, a great mechanic. You know, for the fact that morph's good. Taking Pine Walker is going to set you up to take all these other morph creatures. Yeah. So you'll have playables regardless. As long as you can morph them, you get so much worth. Very true. I mean, Throttle, obviously, um, minus four, minus four, instant speed. Removal is removal. Uh, You you can't really go wrong with that. 
Uh, the other two cards that I'm thinking about taking are Ruthless Ripper. Um, a 1-1 one, one with Death Touch is just as relevant in this set as it was every other time. It's awesome, too. Yeah. Some and it has Morph. So you could sit there and morph it. <laughs> it no, 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 no. Yeah. Do it there. Exactly. It's I mean, a kill spell for one. Yeah, it's a two-two. Like two. And yeah, one. it's a two-two when you need it to get in those early swings, and then like when they block and they're like, whatever. I have like an O five, like a monastery flock, or a dragon's eye savants. You're like, up oh, surprise, flip it. You lose two life, and you're O five. Um, just the guy does so much work. I actually wound up uh, losing to a guy who had triple ruthless ripper because he just kept playing him out early and I couldn't keep up. Dude, with we that. can do unyielding karma. Or whatever. <laughs> um, He's awesome. <laughs> and then <laughs> the fourth card that I'm thinking about taking, uh, it, it was a toss up. It's a toss up between either Jeskai Wind Scout, which is you know nice. Yeah, I saw Jeskai Wind Scout. Yeah. That's why I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, yeah. maybe. But no, no, that that would be later for me. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Worth it's definitely like a third, fourth pick card, I think. But a nice, efficient flyer or Alpine Grizzly if you're really, really inclined. Alpine, Alpine Grizzly because it just it Boom triggers. Blairs, it, tri- <laughs> it triggers prowess. Yeah, it tri- not prowess. Uh, you're thinking uh, ferocious. Okay, yeah. yeah, like it. Tri- like going back to that, it triggers our icy blasts, our savage punches. Um, wow. I'm going Pine Walker though. I mean, Pine Walker just it makes all the morphs better. Um, even by itself, you're probably gonna eat somebody. Gets in for a ton of damage. Dude, Jungle Hollow first pick? No. Fine. That'd be mine. Honestly, dr- <laughs> that'd be mine. <laughs> it looks pretty. <laughs> and- <laughs> it looks pretty. <laughs> well, I like the super aggro, so I go for the Ripper, dude. Ripper Slipper? He's awesome. Yeah, I think Ripper Slipper is The whole few awesome. times when we, when we drafted that for Africa, I, I went aggro. I had the most fun I've ever had in my life. Yeah, aggro is a ton of fun. I, like, I never went aggro, and I was like, this is amazing. Why don't I do this? So... Uh, in any case, so, John, uh, what's your pick? My pick is Pine Walker. Pine Walker? So we got two for Pine Walker. Molly, you're the swing vote. And you can't pick Jungle Hollow, even though it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. What am I choosing between? Sorry. Any, any of the cards in the pack? Any the of them? Jungle Hollow and the Swamp at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. can't, can't. That Swamp, though. Like, that on. Swamp, though. <laughs> Always take them. can't get those. <laughs> Always take the Those things line. are so rare. Um, I think Pine Walker. I've played a Pine Walker. I liked it. Yeah, Pine Walker. I think Pine Walker's pretty good. Although, I will say, Alex, I think it's tied with Ruthless, like, with Ruthless Ripper. I like Ruthless I'll be Ripper. honest. Ruthless Ripper is such a good card. It's so cool. It's still it's still cool. Name. Though, too. It is a cool name. And the and art's sweet. Late potential and the art's sweet. Well. Yeah. yeah, it does give late game potential. That's a good point. Would you want to say any more about late game potential with Ruthless Ripper? Because I, I think you're have a. I think you you're on a good train of thought there, in all honesty. Well, like, no, no spring, as it having morph, you know. Yeah. So you're getting two damage in if they're floating or whatever. And then if you need to kill something, hooray, kill spell for nothing. <laughs> yeah, kill spell for nothing. Well, if you've got the black in your hand. but No, but you're right. It's a kill spell for nothing a lot of times. black in your hand, though, if you want to really do that. Yeah. And honestly, I think, too, along with the late game potential, early game potential, just run this guy out. And there a lot of times they'll take three to the face and then trade it for just the first thing that they've got. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's our, Do you guys want to do one more? Yeah. I think this is like the fourth one. This is the third one. We've only done three. I'm pretty sure it's four. No, it's, it's three. three. You only... just suck at math. Ask, ask, can you even count? We've only done three. Do you even math? Do you... This is five. Right? Okay, so there's another icy blast. There's another icy blast in this pack. So, so we're, take icy blast. We're not. We're not doing this one. We're, we're not doing this one. What do you? I can't count. I can only count the four. Like, Oh, oh gosh! Oh, the armament cool. Why are there okay. so many split all the lands. lands. All the lands. Okay, oh, we got a new pack. It doesn't have icy blast in it because I know we would all immediately jump on the icy blast bandwagon, oh, uh, which is a fine bandwagon to jump on. Don't get me wrong. Um, but this is our this is our pack, Ooh. bonus pack. We're not going to do this every time, but this is for you people because we love you guys. Well, the, I'm taking the wraith cool thing. The mystic thing is, well, nah. No, I'm taking the mystic. You have to be in those colors though. I feel. Not really. I mean, it's not a per- it's not a first pick. Probably I would honestly no. first pick it looking at this I don't pack. Think. Okay, what was your what's your first pick then, Alex? The armament core. Armament core. I think it's, it's a fr- solid four four for five, and then you get to boost two other dudes. Yeah. When you're talking about being in colors. You need to be in those yeah. three colors. In all honesty, though, too, like um, if you do play yeah, armament I mean, core and it's the only thing out there, it's a five mana six six. You just drop those counters on the core. Oh, you can do it on that. Yeah. Whoa. Thanks, dude. Yeah, like he's really good. You can always do the sorcery removal. He's really good. Oh yeah, I, I think Right of the Serpent's fine. Um, I think this is a really easy first pick for me. I'm taking Rattleclaw Mystic every time. Um, something that I've noticed from the set is that 
Like you want to be able to hit the ground running every single time. People are going to be derping around, playing their three mana two twos. So first off, this thing is a two one for two. Already, I love it, and it taps for three different colors of mana. Now, Alex brings up a great point. Um, you're not necessarily going to be in red, blue, green. So you're not necessarily going to be it's in basically teamer. Basically, three that mana. Counts for, that counts for gray though too, doesn't it? Yeah, it always counts for colorless. And plus, if I'm in soul tie, um, this is blue, this yo. is going to be a green blue. Mana source, and a lot of times too, it's really? just an accelerant. And even if I'm in Abzan, um, you know, it's gonna it's gonna push me out to some other things. And if I don't have a green mana, I can play it as a three mana two two. A lot of other times, like you forget about how good that can be for you. Also, something to note is the morph cost on the card is colorless, which means if I'm playing this, like I can play Rattleclaw Mystic in red, black, white, and I can still play Rattleclaw Mystic, and then I can unmorph Rattleclaw Mystic and use that those three lands. Three man. Yeah, to just cast spells for free, essentially. And then all of a sudden, I've got something that works for Mardu. So I love Rattleclaw Mystic. I think it works for just about everything. I mean, I'm thrilled to open Rattleclaw Mystic pack one, pick one. But even if I'm not in teamer, like, or I, mean, I don't like teamer, or if I'm thinking about, like, if I'm a person who's biased against the archetype, I go Rattleclaw Mystic. You know, I just realized that I counterintuitively, like... Yeah, you were like, against... I don't want to go in the three colors, so no, I'm not going to well, take no, the Mystic. No, 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 no. I was like, last Let time, aggro is fun. Yeah. And that one gives you mana for free, which I didn't realize. It's also pretty <laughs> aggressively caused. But I, I think yeah. Armament Core is also a respectable first pick. I can't, you, know, you can't really go well, wrong with Armament Core. When it's turned face up. Does that mean just from more? Yeah. So um, like when you let's you morph it for two and essentially so you're getting a free be, mana. It has to be like turn four then. That yeah. You do that essentially. Minimally. But like on turn four, like you, te- you basically flip it for two. I mean, and you, you still have, have two land left. Out. Then you have five oh, yeah, land, right. and then you can tap Mat- Rattleclaw Mystic. So on turn four, you can have up to six mana. True. Yeah. With Rattleclaw Mystic. And then you I can throw out three rune claw and, 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 and then you can play Armament Court and or, and have one more mana left over for the walls. Or three rune claw. Or the, or the, 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 the shoot, what was his name? The, the, God damn it! <laughs> the, the Death Touch dude. Uh, for the ruthless ripper. Yeah. <laughs> you just run. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> just I said scorpion. Uh, I play. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Said scorpion. Said scorpion. Said scorpion with upside. There's nothing. There's no way you can go wrong with said scorpion with upside. So. I don't have green. All right. So, John, thoughts? First pick. Okay, I, I w- I'd go with Mystic there. It's just because I'm like, okay, it's two two mana and it's a two one, which I thought it was just a zero one. Like you know, most of the mana excellent creatures are. Um, it's just like, oh, it's even better, and it has morph too, so, as you said, you get use out of it regardless what you're doing, and I just like free mana. Yeah. Who doesn't? Alright, so I'm going Rattleclaw Mystic, John's going Rattleclaw Mystic, Alex, final yeah, thoughts? I should probably go for that too. I it's mean, okay, stick, to, stick your guns if you want Armor Record. Armor Record's not bleh. <laughs> Armor Record's incredible. It's a solid dude, but I mean, it's just a solid dude that does other things. I'll, yeah, the other no, thing I, is too, if you're actually no, drafting this, you also have to be in those three colors. Where with the other one, you don't necessarily. Yeah, if have. you're drafting that too, and you pass someone armament core, you know for a fact that chances are, looking at this pack, the dude next to you is most likely going to take the armament yeah, the core. Armament core. Well, so I, you're going to know what he's in. I and, usually have the thought of like, once I pick something, I'm like, whoa, this is so good. Let's stick in those colors, and then I end up screwing myself over because. And that happens sometimes. You know, you're just so set on this one guy. Like, yeah. What was it yesterday? I had um, the Ab- Abzan something. Abzan guide. But one of the rare ones. I can't remember. Oh, Ivory Tusk Fortress. Yeah. And Super then elephant. It ended up doing nothing. Like, I mean, it, it didn't end up doing nothing. That card was really. It scary. came in and I blocked something and that was it. Or yeah. You killed it or something. I did kill it. I killed it with Master of the Way for eight points of damage. Right. <laughs> Which was insane. Right. Probably the most damage I've ever resolved Master of the Way for. But the turtle did more damage and it was a turtle. The turtles are pretty awesome. <laughs> well, folks, that's all of the crack packs that we have time for today. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed them. We certainly like it when you guys watch the videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a good one. Goodbye, everybody. Be sure to be first. <laughs> Oh, gosh, you guys. Goodbye, folks.